Hi class, I wanted to post a video talking a little bit about Romans 7 with you. Uh, I use the term growing Christian in describing what's happening with Paul um, in Romans 7, but I kind of since have changed my mind since I listened to the video from Seedbed by Ben Witherington and gone back to the um, view that Wesley has, which is that it's describing um, an unbeliever and probably describing an unbeliever just before um, salvation happens. My basis for this is I listened to his video and I heard him talk about a rhetorical device called impersonation, which is when the author assumes someone else's person. And so in this passage, Paul could be assuming that he is at Adam and talking about Adam's struggle with sin and not his own. Um, if you and that would support his use of the word I in there so many times if he's impersonating Adam. And again, that's a, a rhetorical device. And we've seen Paul in this epistle use many rhetorical devices. He uses it when he uses the interrogation in chapter six. He uses interrogation as a rhetorical device. Um, and so that, um, that made sense to me. Um, Dr. Witherington also said that this is the most commented on piece of scripture and we for sure have to put it in context. Um, if you look at the bigger context, Romans 7, 5, and 6 says that while we were in the flesh, so that's a past tense, and then in 7, 14, he goes and he's in the present tense, and it's a conflict of the nature. Um, and if you look at 8, 1, and 2, Paul is saying there's no condemnation for those that believe Christ Jesus. So how I see that this fits is that Paul is impersonating Adam, and he's identifying in this passage all of those who are still in Adam or all those who are still sinners. Um, and this would support Wesley's view that it's a non a non-Christian and not a growing Christian. Um, I do understand and do appreciate that, you know, there is a conflict in the in our spirits when the Holy Spirit gets a hold of us. Sometimes we have a war within. Um, but the more I read this and the more I study it today, the less I believe that it is Paul talking about himself. I think it's um, a rhetorical device. Paul was a master of rhetoric and that he's impersonating Adam in this. I think that's also supported by Philippians 3, where Paul says, I was blameless. So if Paul said in Philippians 3 he was blameless, how would he say in Romans, which was probably written after that, that he can do, um, that he's of the flesh? Um, and that's my take on this passage. I've grown in my study of it and in understanding of it. If you want to check out the video that I listened to, it's in the course resources and it's by Ben Witherington. Thanks and have a great day.